Hi there. We're continuing our journey through the Proverbs, the Mishle Shlomo, the life sayings of Solomon, and we're in chapter 10 looking at verses 15 and 16. There's a lot in the Proverbs about the importance of the application of oneself to life and the resulting fruitfulness from it. Because God is a creative God, he's called us to be creative as well. And when we're creative, when we give ourselves to work in that sense to industry, then we see things change and we see things progress. And here in these Proverbs, we see that very clearly. The, uh, the, the, the wise man is saying that the rich man's wealth is a strong city to him, which rich man's wealth is a defence. And when, he, when we build up um, prosperity, when we, when we build up prosperity, we're able to find a defence against things. But it says that poverty is the destruction of the poor. Now, Whilst poverty is something that is not to be shunned in the sense of God doesn't deride the poor, at the same time it's not what God seeks us to aim for. God is seeking us to be like him, creative, and seeking us to be fruitful, flourishing in whatever we're doing. Not necessarily materially, but in our lives. And he therefore says in verse 16 that the that what the righteous do, what the, those of integrity do, tends to produce life. Not just things, not material, but actually life. It's life-giving when we give ourselves to action. However, the outcome of evil is failure. The outcome of evil is sin. And therefore, there's a very stark contrast between these. Let's imitate this God, this creative God, who has created with such extravagance and done so much to create fruitfulness in the earth. And let us be sure that as we are giving ourselves to our work, to the things that we're called to do, that we can see the fruitfulness God desires. Have a good day.